glazed donut bitch. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you see by the title, your girl is doing a pre-photo shoot, get ready with me type of video, and that's why you clicked on this. So since you're here, don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel so I can keep making content and like this video so I know that you enjoy this type of content. And I'll keep it coming. I'm feeling myself <laughs> and of course I'm going to try to link everything down below there's a lot of good stuff in this video if I do say so myself and all socials will be here on the screen and link below if you liked anything you see there will also be a link down below or similar items Ooh, I'm a little out of breath <laughs> And I have so much more content coming your way. So stay tuned. It's a good time here. <laughs> Hi guys. So the first thing we're going to do is makeup. So I'm going to pop you guys up right there. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so all I did was cleanse my face. Moisturize. I have not put on sunscreen yet. Since I know my shoots today are indoor, I'm going to be using minimal SPF products because when you use flash or like direct lighting, artificial lighting, studio lighting, whatnot, whatever you have, um, sunscreen can give your skin a white cast, make you look a little ghostly. And it also, I, in my opinion, I feel like my skin also oils up a little bit more with sunscreen. So I do use products with SPF, but not overdoing it with the two finger roll with sunscreen. Um, I do try to incorporate it in different ways, and you'll see as I'm doing my makeup, as I'm prepping. Um, so yeah, all I really have is a fresh, freshly washed, toned, and moisturized skin and um, eye cream. So let's get started with my photo shoot makeup. I know I already posted the video where it was mostly my holy grails and you're gonna see a lot of that repeating here as well. So, um, and my makeup's really scattered everywhere so if I'm like constantly looking for something, we are going to start off with a lip scrub. I like to do this in the beginning of my um, like prep <laughs> before anything else because I'll be having crusty ass lips. I use this little tool, it's a little scrubber, two sides. I kind of like this one a little bit better because you see it gets a little stuck in there so yeah I don't want to put something that harbors bacteria on my lips. So oh, this is from Shop. Miss A, AOE Studio, in Mango. You could just use your toothbrush too, but I like this a little bit more because it's a little more hydrating in my opinion. And then I just get a towel and wipe it off. Sometimes the little sugar crystals can get on your skin, so just Make sure to get that taken care of. And then lip balm. You want your lips looking juicy, girl. <laughs> I want my lips looking hydrated and juicy. And I feel like after the scrub, it makes them look like more alive like I look more I got blood in my lips <laughs> it looks way redder way more red it looks way more red in the camera than it does in person but I'm here for it Whatever. today we're gonna use more subtle SPF products so that it doesn't give me that white cast flashback and it doesn't feel as heavy alrighty y'all I just had to change the video settings on this camera 
it's still pretty new to me and I'm trying to maximize its capacity in the settings and whatnot and I have to watch a whole video but being part of a content creator is wanting to rip your hair out when it comes to new devices that you are unfamiliar with and why things are the way they are because it don't be making sense sometimes so I'm gonna see if my camera wants to do a standby mode and cut off my recording after four minutes on its own so we'll see but anyways <laughs> back to the makeup um, I'm gonna be doing the SPF BFF game-changing uh, primer it's not gonna mess with any of your other products sometimes I'll just be using this on as like sunscreen honestly because it's that good and look at my skin this is like the best it's looked in a minute but okay what's the SPF on this? SPF 30 I do have a new planet on my forehead it hurts a little so there's a new civilization up in that planet should I bring y'all in? Okay, maybe that's a little better. What do you think? <laughs> I also just learned how to attach the little mic, so hopefully it's a lot better to hear me now. Less fuzziness going on. <laughs> There's also a few products I haven't tried yet, so I hope it'll be okay for the shoot. Like, for example, a mascara. I'm using this mascara later, and I obviously just bought it. So hopefully it doesn't ruin my whole face because I have too many mascaras that make me panda eyes and like bleed to the to my under eyes. So okay, there's that. And then let's go with Angel Veal as another primer. Because the SPF is, you know, still protect your skin, but this one is too. Ooh. This next primer, oh that's a lot, is for blurring, blurring the face as well. Oh my gosh, it looks like sunscreen. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. <laughs> I didn't mean to put this much, but in the words of Nikki Tutorials, to not prime is a crime. Okay, yeah, I put way too much, but it's okay. We can bring it down to the neck because I like putting a little shimmer on my chest area. Okay, I just told y'all I don't put on sunscreen to get a white cast, but now I feel like I put too much of that primer and now there's a white cast. So I'm going to just be here blending. <laughs> okay, that's fine. This is a really good primer, so... Yeah. This is the ultimate holy grail for photo shoots, in my opinion. It's long-lasting. It doesn't make me as oily as quick. Um, and the finish is just flawless. So, one and a half pumps. To start, a disposable sponge. I will say it's a um, quick drying as well, so you want to put it on your face and then blot it out. It's a little dark. Let's add a lighter one. I'm going to put in a little bit of the 128 Warm Nude. The one before was, oh, it's also a different packaging, but it's the same. This one is the same as this. Why does one say one, 24 hours and 30 hours? I thought it was just different packaging. It's the same one, but different shade. This one I'm mixing in to make it a little more my skin tone. I'm just gonna put that 
that right there and then dot it. There we go. Okay, I don't know why it's so chaotic this time around because usually I'm just like do, 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 do. Ow, done. <laughs> okay, yeah, that looks like my skin tone. I feel like I need more of the warm nude and then just a little bit of the 20, 220 natural beige. Cause I feel like 220 is my, and natural beige is my usual go-to, but this warm nude is giving me that, like, a winter shade of mine. <laughs> Summer's around the corner though. Ooh, we had 11 minutes of recording. Dope. Because that five minute was driving me insane. Like I really wanted to return this camera because it was getting me fucked up. Because <laughs> it was really getting to me and frustrating me. And I even contacted Sony support and I feel like they didn't really give me the help that I was asking for. But then I pull up YouTube and the second, third video answered all my prayers. <laughs> I do feel like this side is a little bit darker, but it ain't no thing. Look how flawless. Okay, this piece of hair is pissing me off. <laughs> Look how flawless. And I'm a put on my lips too. Whatever is just excess though. Not too much, just I don't want to be looking dead, but I need the foundation to set. So whatever I put on top of it, like my lip liner, translucent translucent powder, whatever. Even any lip gloss, the color will show a lot better because your natural lip color can like mess with the color or shade of your um, lip products. So, and this concealer, ooh, Miss huh? Red, Selena Gomez with a Rare Beauty. This is like one of my top favorite concealers. I love the shade as well, 230 Neutral. Concealer is one of my favorite like makeup. Um, makeup products and like areas to really elevate my look. I feel like it really elevates my face and just nicely brightens and lifts my face. So I love concealer. Don't. A little exclamation point. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. I want to use my hand. I gotta. Huh? <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Not too much. We want to lift the face while brightening. down to the side of my nose and I'm gonna just let it like stay like that because I think it becomes a lot more full coverage when it's not blended out all the way I don't know how to explain it like let it sit the way you want it to blend into your skin you know what I mean can you see me okay I need more batteries for this camera too because I'd be dying after 15 minutes of recording. Am I going to get any content done today besides this video? <laughs> you know, while it's charging, I do try to, you know, make some TikToks because TikToks are hard to make. But anyways, back to the glam. I'm going to zoom you back in. I don't know if... Is that too much? Okay, maybe that's better. 
Am I blurry? I better not be blurry. <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's the other, and that's what drives me insane. So, okay. Um, let's do brows. So, we're going to go in with the Pears Transparent Soap Brow Look. Um, this soap is $1 from Dollar Tree. Yes. Dollar Tree, I love you. <laughs> I'm going to use the... Nope. I'm gonna use a spoolie of this It Cosmetic Brow Power just because I feel like this one doesn't want to give in on itself. <laughs> like most eyebrow spoolies. So I'm wetting that just a little bit. Grabbing this. It's a little too wet. Said no one ever. <laughs> Anyways. Going up and around. I feel like people say to go diagonal, but I say do like a like a circle, like a half circle with your brow, half flowing in the air. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Then push the tail outwards. But still like in a circular motion too. Like, you know what I mean? So then I'm going to use the other side, the product, <laughs> and small strokes. I'm mainly focusing on the arch because I feel like that's what frames my face the best. And I do like to extend it a little bit because I feel like I have a round face. You can stop here if you're a natural brow girl. But I'm going to go a little bit right here. I like to, my brows to really look lifted, but not too drawn in. And I am going to go with the powder as well. Oh, I feel like I need to clean that up. See, it's hard to talk and do your brows at the same time. This pencil is a really good color. It's, I believe it's universal, yeah, universal taupe. Let's see? Can y'all see that? Universal taupe. But you can't just use it alone, in my opinion. Yeah, that one looks a lot better, in my opinion. This CoverGirl True Blend Undercover in Sand Beige. I'm just using just a little bit just to take off some of the brow product, but not make it look like I carved out my brows, you know? Now, contour. I feel like this is a very game-changing product and game-changing like elevated sculpted chiseled look to your face and body because i like putting it on my collarbones she glam espresso i'm not sure if they still have this in stock i think they have like a dual tip to like highlight and contour stick now but the one in mocha is also a really good one so espresso or mocha but this one is espresso had her for a while Straight out of the tube, it would just be my gel line. Ooh, my hair. <laughs> I feel like skinny to thick because I like to cut my chin a little bit. And then back to skinny. Get a brush. This one is so good for um. My cheekbones and my forehead so it gives me more control as well so I don't use as much product in the shape of this instead I can just hug my cheeks so. see the difference it's a lot more subtle just tapping motions you do have to go back and forth but I feel like it's worth it a little bit into the Hairline and forehead. You see how it just blends for me and it's oh so subtle. Bringing this in, just building it up to how I like. You see the difference? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And yeah, I'm just leaving that there to like set a little bit, dry down. I 
do the rest of my face. And then I'm gonna... Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't because I still don't know how I feel about it, but I go straight down. What do you guys think? Do you think it makes a difference? I've been seeing on TikTok. I'm still forming an opinion on that, but I do like go back and forth. So, up a little bit. Going down. <laughs> Yes, and then whatever's left, just pinch this and put it on the nose. Do you see that drastic difference? A little bit over. I do like putting a, a lot on the bottom of my nose to lift it, so... Yeah. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Now I'm realizing that I didn't show y'all the powder part of my brow. I already did my left side. So if you can see it's a little more sharp and defined and darker. So I'll go in with the Wet n Wild. I know it's beat up. And the little brush that comes with it. Um, I've been using this since middle school. I mix the two. So I go with the light brow. The light brown. The dark and then light again. Tap. And then start at the arch and draw down and blend. I also feel like the powder um, adheres to my brow or my hairs, my brow hairs and even my skin because of the wax that was in the brow pencil. That's why I never skip this step and just do it until you're liking it. But do you see how it just looks more full? Old. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> now going in with bronzer. Physician's Formula Deep Bronzer. I'm also going to use it as my eyeshadow. I go in pretty heavy handed. <laughs> Set that contour. Upwards. And at the same time, it's setting it a little bit on the forehead, down the nose, sides of the nose, under. Alrighty. So as you can see, I put um, this bronzer as my transition. I use this AOA Studio brush. What I do is I apply with one end and I blend with the other. And this little brush is like a little kitten paw. <laughs> I'll go like this with the side that's applying the product and then I'll switch it and I'll blend out with the other side. And I'm not going to do a, a eyeshadow color in the center really. I'm really just using this MAC translucent powder in medium plus, not translucent powder, uh, mineralized skin finish and just doing it ever so lightly. It's like a very skin tone neutral look that you can wear with any look, any outfit, any lip color. Um, and to deepen up the edges of my eyes, I'm going to use the um, lighter color in the brow pencil, in the brow pencil, in the brow powder, just a little bit. And just create a defined shadow like that. You see how it's just more... Cat eye, <laughs> and I just took my daily vitamins as well. If you're interested, I'm making TikToks. I'm gonna make a TikTok of what I eat during um, during my photo shoot days or content shooting days. So yeah, my TikTok will be here on the screen and a link down below. Like that. I'm gonna do eyeliner and mascara off camera because I can't. I can't talk and do it and we all have our own way of liking how we do our eyeliner, so yeah. A few moments later. Okay. So far, mascara is doing great. This is the eyeliner. We're gonna do 
Also, one of my favorite parts as well. I feel like my eyes are like my best feature. So this product really just makes me feel real pretty and snatched. <laughs> it's the Dragon Beauty Transformation Face Powder. Especially this pink one right here. I usually am not a pink powder kind of girl, but this really changed the game for me. I also use this just a little bit, but not as much as I used them. I beat the hell out of this one. So, I go in with a little brush that's like just perfect for my under eye. So I go in with this, I tip once, tap once, and then I go to town again. And under eye. Look at the difference. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, wrong way. A oh, baby. You can't tell me shit. Look at that. Blurring, lifting, brightening, beautiful. Cover girl. <laughs> Dragon Beauty. So, yeah, I love this palette so much. This powder. Oh my god. You need it. You need it. Put it on the nose. Just to lift it. Center. And I use more of the yellow on the... What is this? Side of my face. Under my contour. Not too much because I feel like it can get a little cakey and you can like tell that it's there but I like using the yellow more for this and then the pink more for under my eyes. Now for blush I do it like right under my eye as well. I go in with the Sephora Blushing Pink and Coral Punch. I mix the both of them and I use the other side so tap, tap, tap. Oh, did y'all even see that? Tap. Tap, tap. I do like right under my eye and a high point on my cheekbone, but like literally under my eye. A little on the nose. You can't tell me this looks like a like the perfect flush of pink. Nose a little on the forehead and chin. I'm gonna brush off the excess of the, um, the yellow because I feel like I can see it and I just want to blend a little more. Oof. She's looking good. Good, honey. Good. <laughs> Now for lips, we're going to go back in with the bronzer and use this fluffy angled brush like that to contour the bottom. I just create a little shadow for right there. I love a pouty, plump bottom lip. <laughs> Um, I go in with MAC Strip Down Liner Girl, OG, cult favorite, you need her if you haven't tried her. Oh, this color is just so freaking beautiful. Come on. You can stop there if you want, just blend it out a little. <laughs> But we ain't stopping there, honey. <laughs> we are now gonna, I'm also gonna use this um, Don't Call Me Honey by She Glam lipstick. It is so stunning. It is like a beautiful new brown. Stunning. You need this. Add to cart. Add to your cart. 
Add to your cart now. Because it is stunning. Again, don't call me honey. I got this from my good friend Amy. Thank you, girl. I love this so much. I grab a little angle brush. Fenty gloss. And we out. Get into it. <laughs> Lips looking juicy if you ask me. These lashes, I believe I got either from Shein or Amazon. I'll try to link them below. Okay, so you go like that. So that'll look like a little spider. I feel like the shadow's <laughs> tripping me out, but obviously I need to cut it a little bit. I see how they can look a little inconsistent. Like this one looks a little more wispy, but this one looks more like just natural and long and not as spidery in my opinion. That's good. Um, and then ch -ch 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 -ch, setting spray. I'm gonna go in. So I know I said I don't be using that much SPF. But this has me glistening, glowing, glazed donut bitch. <laughs> I don't put too much all over the place. I do it like as my highlight. Like I already have a glow going on, you know, because skin glowing. That's not product, that's my skin. Glistening, honey. Go back in with my Dragon Beauty because I'm obsessed with it. And just. Blot where I want to be. And not shiny. Fragrance. I feel like it really just oh, it smells so good. This is a Mugler Alien. I love it so much. You're gonna smell expensive, honey, because it is kind of expensive, but it's so worth it. I think I'm like halfway. Oh, stunning. Go smell it at Macy's, Nordstrom, maybe Sephora. I'm pretty sure Sephora. You're gonna fall in love, girl. You're gonna fall in love. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put some highlight, some powder highlight on the collarbones. I'm gonna use the Shayla X ColourPop Boomin Loose Powder just because I have so much of this and you don't need a lot. It's honestly gonna last me my, my whole life, I swear. And it's so fine. I just need it on the top. So. You see the difference, honey? It just pops so much more in photos. Like I'm J-Lo, honey. And a little bit on the chest, but mostly the collarbones. Whew. That's one of my biggest tips when it comes to taking photos. So let me show you the ultimate lazy girl hair photo shoots, but you still want texture. So I sleep with this scrunchie on and I roll it up so it's been like this since overnight. Leave it down and already it's also freshly washed hair. So it might be a little more flimsy. But ooh, it smells so good. Look at that. 
massage your scalp because you deserve it. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Texturing spray. If you'd like, this is the Away Hair Care Texturizing Hairspray. I feel so luxurious when I use this because it really smells like you're an expensive bitch. And then there's another hairspray. Okay, this hairspray was a game changer to me. It is the Nexus Maximum Hold Spray. It also gives you a lot of texture, but sometimes it can be a little overkill. So, go light handed. I do try to focus it on the inside where it like touches my neck because when I'm doing shoots, I'm sweating. So yeah. <laughs> Voluminous, heatless, barely any effort. Curls, so easy. And if you want to like fluff this, just use dry shampoo, but I'm gonna leave it like this because I like it. <laughs> Look at that. You can tussle it any way you want, at least for my hair. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna turn on this light. And um, it'll also be linked down below or in my Amazon storefront life-changing light background studio it belongs to my girl amy shout out to you girl um and don't judge the mess but i'm about to show y'all what it really be looking like behind the scenes of a content creator yeah okay <laughs> uh furry blanket from target a long time ago i got it on clearance but comes in clutch so much yes it's a dirty mattress right here Mm -hmm, moving on, um, tripod, whatever, I believe is the one that's to six or seven feet, um, yeah, but this tripod, this one is an amazing, amazing tripod, if you just shoot on your phone, do TikToks or whatever, portable, look at this, it's literally the size of, like, your hair tool, so, Biggest game changer in my opinion. Get this if you need to elevate. Shout out to my girl Aaliyah's face for putting me on. There's also a white one, but I mess up anything white, clearly. So, <laughs> and black is just more my aesthetic, I would say. So, yeah. Upgrade your $15 tripod to this. Like, I think it was $30 around there. Yeah, linked down below my Amazon. Yeah. Um, there's some clothes in here that I need to shoot with as well as some random junk. This bag is full of clothes I need to use that I thrifted or just make a video on. Um, speaker. Okay. The speaker, anchor, sound core, I believe. It's from Amazon. The cheapest but best bang out of your buck speaker you'll ever get on Amazon. I believe it was like $15, $20. And yeah, it's bomb. Love that. Link down below, of course. And ooh, and in here, outfits that I need to shoot. And yes, these two. This purple set and this green. So I'm just gonna throw it there. Um, bikinis. this one yet so that'll be one um so this one too i've had it forever but i've not worn it and i know it looks a mess but i've been trying to do a photo shoot with this bed in forever so i'm thinking of maybe putting my phone and just taping it or maybe a high angle with a tripod yeah i'm not sure yet so 
We'll see. But at least we got some outfits. Okay, now this next game changing product. Hello? King Jeter. King Jeter. Y'all, look at how I spruced up this top. It's not meant to be in multiple ways, but I did my thing. <laughs> and figured out a second way to wear it, and it's so cute. Let me show y'all. I mean, come on. <laughs> it does fall a little bit because you know it's not meant to be worn this way, but I think it's so cute. And I'm wearing it with these. Can y'all see? Oh. Sorry, this, this lighting. Ugh. Don't mind me while I'm feeling myself. <laughs> this hair is giving, honey. You cannot tell me it ain't like. <laughs> I'm feeling myself, obviously. Alrighty, y'all, this is my view. I have three tripods in front of me, my phone camera, my light, and this camera here, my vlogging camera. Pictures, lighting, shooting camera right here. Um, she feeling herself, she's got a little lilac moment going on. Let me see if I can show you a little bit. Yeah, that's for the bed situation. But yeah, I just want to show you guys my view and the camera's view. I'm starving right now. Ugh, so hungry. <laughs> Can't wait to eat, but we gotta get this work. And I realized I don't want copyrighted music playing, so I put no music on <laughs> for the sake of this video. So, just blinding myself a little bit um, since I have lighting. Okay, I got the Bluetooth that comes with the, with the portable tripod. 10, 10 recommend and I like the shape I feel like they did it on purpose to where it's like you can use your finger to take pics but like if your hands were like on your knees or something you can just like hide it under your finger and press it but like be like this be like this if you have dark hair <laughs> yeah just all around great you do have to charge it though so that could be a good or bad thing. I think it's actually a good thing because the the plain, y'all seen it. Yeah, I have a lot. So like these ones, um, I think you need a battery. So they're not rechargeable. You have to go buy like a certain battery for it. So this could be a game changer for y'all if y'all just want to use any like Android. Like I think even the Sony camera or whatever camera you have, as long as not Apple, We'll charge this. So, super handy. Okay. Let's take some pictures. Oh, it turned itself off. So, when it's on, it'll blink a green light. I also have my water right here. Whew. Since I'm not eating anything yet. Maybe I'll switch it up and put the fuzz. Maybe this will be cute, like 
He just looks like a fur thing. <laughs> I feel like fur just elevates any photo shoot and you can really do a lot with it. 10 10 recommend. You can honestly get it at any bed store, I would think. If I can find it or something similar, I'll link it down below. Of course. I know the lighting to you may look a little bad, but <laughs> on the phone it's so much better. So if you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans, link down below. <laughs> on TikTok as well, so don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'll put it here on the screen. And of course, down below. Oh, girl, I'm tired. I hope y'all learned something today though. I had a lot of fun. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Mm. I'm flexing my muscles. <laughs> oh, I'm breaking my back and getting every angle. Um, this was a productive video, productive day. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know you like content like this. And stick around by subscribing to your girl. Everything linked down below as always and all my socials as well. See you in the next one. Bye!